Happy Monday, everybody. What's up, you guys? Hey, it's your girl, Keisha Bass with AskKeishaBass.com. And in today's video, I want to talk about how to um, reduce, at least, reduce for some of you, you may eliminate overwhelm in your life and inside of your life business. So I get this question a lot, right? From women who have to juggle many things, do full-time jobs, um, children, husbands, laundry, clean the house, all this kind of stuff, right? So I get this question a lot. So I want to make sure that um, I get this answer out to you all um, in a global way. So one of the things that um, whenever someone says that I am overwhelmed, that means that they are uh, unclear about their direction, right? So I would say the first thing you have to do is, is to get clear about your direction, get clear about what you're, where you're going. I would suggest, you know, sit down and write out, you know, what am I going to get accomplished today, right? A thing I learned um, a few years ago was my results in five, okay? My results in five. So what five things can you do today inside of your business? What five things can you do in your home today, right? And so when you're clear about what you're going to do every single day, there's no room for overwhelm. So if you write down, you know, the five things you're going to do, you're going to do a video, you're going to email your list, you're going to do a blog post, you know, you're going to connect with five, ten people and, you know, whatever the other one more thing you're going to do, what five things you're going to do today, you know, and, and it helps you to move forward in your business now you eliminate overwhelm there's no such thing as overwhelm because you know exactly what you're going to be doing and you're not trying to pile a bunch of stuff on your um on your actual to-do list every single day here's another thing um, i learned many years ago i was um, working with a coach and um she taught me this thing she said listen keisha if you don't plan to do laundry if you don't plan to do cleaning or cooking or whatever it may whatever the case may be those things become intrusions in your day so you you know it's like you, you're like oh my god crap i gotta you know i have to um you know, I got to do laundry, you know, crap, I got to go and cook, you know, crap, oh crap, I got to do this. And see, those things now have become an intrusion into your day. So if you just plan it, okay, well, on Thursdays, I'm going to do laundry on Thursdays, right? And that's the day you know that thir that laundry is going to be done in your house, right? Um, You know that on, you know, whatever days of the week um, you're cooking, you know, and if you have a husband or a partner or something, then, you know, on certain days they're going to cook and you know exactly what you're going to cook, right? And things like that now you are actually more prepared it's not an intrusion now because now you prepared it right you know on Thursdays you got to do laundry so there's no sense in you acting like laundry doesn't have to be done in your house right now you just get it done so hopefully these tips helped you all with really um, eliminating or at least reducing overwhelm in your business get clear about what you're doing know where you're going what you have to do that day get your results in five so what five things you're gonna do today get your results in five done guys and listen I I'll see you guys on my next video. So if you haven't grabbed my social media survival guide, hey, run on over to AskKeishaBass.com. Grab my social media survival guide. It's going to share with you guys five things you must do. Seven things, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about results in five now. So seven things you must do every single day on social media if you want to generate leads and you want to make sales and you want to do it with ease. I'll see you guys on my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.